Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Well, I was pleasantly surprised and shocked to see that our good buddy, Dr. Travis Stork of the Doctor's TV show, came out with a recommendation on how to reduce your risk for heart disease by up to 30%. Maybe our coolest doctor's prescription ever. Maybe I'll just call it the sweetest ever. Oh. Wow, their coolest tip ever. This better be pretty darn good. The surprising thing that could cut your risk of a heart attack in the next 10 years by up to 30%? Well, when I heard that 30%, my ears kind of perked up because that's a number that I remember quite well. It comes up a lot in the scientific literature when you look at the risk of heart disease of vegans compared to non-vegans. For instance, here in this epic Oxford study, which followed a very large population for almost 20 years, Vegans and non-vegans, all believed to be heart disease free at the start of the study. Anyway, look, the vegans have about a 30% less risk of heart disease compared to non-vegans, and that's even when adjusted for body mass index. So is Travis Stork about to recommend that people switch to a plant-based, a vegan diet to reduce the risk of heart disease? Oh, it's so great. Hot oh. chocolate! Oh. Huh? Really? Hot chocolate? Chocolate lines up planetarily with the sun. Chocolate is an octave of sun energy. In fact, it's the energy of the center of the sun. It's Let me clarify here. We're talking about plant-based nutrients that you find in cocoa, real cocoa. These flavonoids were found to improve the function of the heart as age can cause your arteries to stiffen. I'm glad he's giving credit to plant-based flavonoids being responsible for this reduced risk. But that last thing he said about your arteries hardening as you age, well, Travis is probably not aware that vegans have significantly less cholesterol in their blood than do meat eaters. Let's take a look at this. This is an average across five studies. Vegans have an average of less than 150 for their cholesterol, while well, meat eaters nearly 200. That's about a 33% increase in cholesterol. So you kind of got that wrong there, Dr. Stork. And furthermore, talking about cholesterol and arteries being clogged, Dr. Bernard was on your show and he had this to say. It's the only diet that opens up the arteries again. So if you're headed for a heart attack or a stroke, this is the way that no other diet can do this, but a plant-based diet opens the arteries again. You got that, Dr. Stork? No other diet does this other than a vegan, a plant-based diet. So was Dr. Stork convinced with this overwhelming evidence? I want to challenge sort of this opinion of one is better than the other, because I think where I stand is your way is healthy, but my way is healthy as well. Nope, no surprise. Dr. Stork's opinion was not changed in the slightest bit. It's all about the flavonoids in this 100% mm, cocoa. Another piece of research actually found that healthy men and women aged 35 to 60 found their risk of cardiovascular disease cut by 22% after consuming a flavonoid drink just twice Travis, a day for four drink weeks. Drink up and vasodilate with us. Come on, baby. <laughs> so, so yeah, America, that's what the doctors are telling you. Don't make any changes at all in your lifestyle or your diet. Keep eating bacon and what have you and other class two carcinogens you love. Just drink hot cocoa twice a day and you won't get a heart attack anymore. Well. Strangely enough, the doctors, this very same show, on another episode, had two heart research specialists on. Let's see what they had to say. And here to help us out are doctors Mark Gilinov and Stephen Nissen from the Cleveland Clinic. Now, they wrote and co-authored a book called Heart 411, The Only Guide to Heart Health You'll Ever Need. And this way, we can separate fact from fiction. And Great idea. Is it fact or fiction that having some dark chocolate will prevent heart disease? I have these props up here because part of that question was, oh, if I eat dark chocolate and drink wine and take a supplement or get enough vitamin D, I'm good to go. Are we taking it too far? The short answer is yes, we are taking it too far. But if you're going for it because you think that the things on this table are going to protect you from heart disease, then you're wrong. Ooh, you got wrecked there, Dr. Stork. We all want a magic bullet, and these are some tasty magic bullets, but you need to do more than this to protect your heart. So we all know, we've heard, dark chocolate is better than milk chocolate. To some of us, it tastes better, but does dark chocolate really protect your heart? The fact is, dark chocolate will cause your blood pressure to drop a little bit for a little while. But will that really affect your heart health over your entire life? We doubt it. 
So yeah, that's why life hacks like having dark chocolate to reduce your risk of heart disease suck. It just yeah, lowered your blood pressure a tiny bit for a short amount of time. On the other hand, you can have more permanent, long-lasting changes that make a real difference. As I'm suggesting, as Dr. Bernard is suggesting, a plant-based diet opens up the blood vessels, not by a little bit and not for a short amount of time. We're talking a more permanent basis. Same with cholesterol. You have you know 33% less cholesterol permanently compared to meat eaters. These are real changes that'll make a real difference for reducing your risk of heart disease, much more so than drinking chocolate twice a day that helps you out for a minute or two. So this is why I keep making these episodes about the doctors, about how the information they put out on their show is useless. At the beginning of what I showed here, Dr. Stark was so stoked that he had the their greatest tip ever. And now I show on their very same show, on a different episode, on a different day, some other doctors contradicting this great tip that you should eat chocolate to reduce your risk of heart disease. This show is just pure entertainment. And I hope most of you guys know, all of you guys know by now, this is not the place, the doctors, to get your medical information nutrition advice far far from it um so sorry my voice is kind of scraggly today we've been out past few days we just had a fruit luck yesterday we talked to a lot of people and i've noticed i've got a cut on my face here from playing basketball yesterday so i don't know in case you're wondering what's going on here it's not a pimple or anything like that just part of being fit and active so anyway if you got something out of this new doctor's video post your questions and comments down below what do you think do you have friends that think hey i'm not going to get heart attack you know i'm drinking wine i'm eating chocolate you know well tell them that's bogus um if you got something out of this video hit like share it with friends who are on that trip and subscribe for more info from me and angie here at happy healthy vegan and until next time guys as dr stork needs to do keep it carved baby keep it carved cardiac catheterization a test to look at your arteries before the heart surgery and he said I do not need that test I said you do really he said I don't I make my own red wine and I drink it every day so my arteries are clean and what's more wow. I drink a bottle a day <laughs>